Hey guys, here we are in the next part. <laughs> part four, I think. And I'm sorry the battery ran out, but I had just finished this one. Everything is um, good and dry now. See, all dried up. Again, we're not going to worry about the inside just yet. And I just thought I'd just show you these real quick. You get lots of texture with all the different stuff going on. All right. So I'm going to start with the one that looks like the peaches. We don't need the paint again, at least not right this minute, maybe in another step. And I'm going to use, I've got just a little bit of this left. It's Mod Podge Antique Matte. And this gives you an instant, almost instant vintage appearance. If I can just get it open and it smells. That's the only thing about this Mod Podge that drives me crazy. It's got a very smelly, it doesn't smell like regular Mod Podge. I don't know whatever's in it to do the antiquing part of it. It, it smells. So I'm just going to Mod Podge like normal. But what I want to do is make sure I wrap some of the napkin around to the other side so that I seal my edges in to make the book last longer is my thinking. And I'm just going to kind of tear this into its four little segments. doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, if it's not perfect, it's better. And I'm going to do that. And I might even tear each of those in half again. I might not even need both napkins on these smaller ones, but I have one prepared in case I do. Okay, so I got those all tore into like sections. And I'm just going to put this on here. Uh-oh. All right, we got a little bit there. Don't worry about Mod Podge boogies because they'll just add to it. And I'm just going to leave a little extra to go around to the back side. And I'm not going to do that until I get the this front cover done here. All right. And you can put these on in different directions too, overlapping some. Remember to leave some hanging over the edge so I can wrap it to the inside. Doesn't look like I had any Mod Podge under it over here. So I'll lift that up. Okay. I'm probably not going to use up all of this Mod Podge, but you never know. I might. And the key to it is not to go over it too many times because the napkin becomes fragile. And just go straight over your bind your spine as well. And I didn't get it far enough over here. just trying to keep some of the texture underneath and maybe even add a little bit more with wrinkles in the napkin. I don't worry about um, keeping the napkin smooth because it's almost not practical to even try that. I know a lot of people they worry about that napkin being nice and smooth 
but I like texture. And I know I look like I'm getting really heavy with this stuff. Let's see here. Come this way a little bit more. heavy handed there and you see by using some of the colors that are in the napkins in your painty background it adds a really nice undertone to it all I've had to turn the air on the air conditioners on because it's just getting too hot in here and I think I'm gonna just tear this one kind of fill in this hole like that come on down here and see we're getting a little too mushy there and it's starting to act up so we got to be careful Want to get a little bit here. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's all on there. And this is a nonstick mat. So all I'm going to do is come to the inside and run a little Mod Podge all along this edge. And then I want to bring my paper over and Mod Podge it down. The beauty of the napkin is when it's damp, it's very pliable. Okay, all right. Maybe just a little bit more along here to stick that down and it's starting to pull, so we wanna back off a little bit. All right, and I'm gonna add some more right along the edge here. Flip this on into the inside. And I've probably got enough stuff on my brush to finish this up. I can come back to any of the parts that look a little dry. I was a little short on tissue here in the corner, so I don't know if that's going to come over the top very good or not. All right. Now this is going to make this very stiff, but you don't want to manipulate it right now or the napkin will just tear. Alright, 
So see, I didn't even use another napkin. This was just one single napkin. All right, I'm going to lay this over top of my paint jars and you can see where it stuck on the mat it lifted a little bit so I'm just gonna push that back down in but that's gonna be pretty pretty all right I'm gonna set this over here on top of a jar so it's kind of just balanced there all right so I'm not gonna worry about the Mod Pod Mod Podge that's on there but I'm gonna go ahead and do the peacocks just like I did the other ones let's um, tear them in half. I really wanted to kind of keep the peacocks whole though. So let's see what we can do on doing these in just bigger squares. All right, so maybe what we can do is we'll take these first ones and apply them to the corners. Let's see what we get here. Again, don't worry if you get a, a glob of the Mod Podge. We'll just make pretend it, it's part of the under texture. All right. I'm gonna, like I did before, I'm going to leave some hanging where I can take it to the inside in just a minute. Okay. There's that one. I'll go ahead and let this one be here. All right. And then I'm going to just gently lift this back up. Add some more Mod Podge. Mod Podge. bring this all the way over because I got way too much and I'm just going to put this down on here all right and then I've got this one can go down right like so And I've got way too much excess here to take to the other side. So I'll either rip or uh, cut some of that off. All right, so I've got one piece left here. And I think I'm going to just tear this into piece, smaller pieces and apply it on here. just so I get a different effect. I gotta get Papa's birthday card in the mail. I keep forgetting to do it. I'll do that on my next break. Okay. Remember, I have another napkin available if I need to use it. I'll take the skinny piece that ripped off earlier and just kind of put it on here. going to need another piece here. So I will just get another piece. Oh, 
gee I'm having a hard time there we go that's a little piece that ripped funny will it cover that corner almost almost doesn't give me much to wrap around to the other side but it fills that in doesn't it all right so before I go too much farther I'm just gonna trim a little of this away and a little bit of the peacock's head up here and the rest of it I won't worry about I'll rip, um, push to the other side so my stupid fingers would work there we go all right so now I'm gonna flip this over and turn oops I'm sorry guys bonked ya I bonked ya I'm gonna turn all this to the inside on this side first let's put some Mod Podge in here and just start turning this in. I see I'm a little short there. It'll be all right. Sorry, I go quiet when I'm working. Anybody that's crafted along with me before knows I go quiet. Sorry about the quiet. All right, so that's that one's done. Now, let's see, I've got my vitamins here. I can balance this one on my vitamins. Pick this up. See if I picked up any on this side on the mat. It doesn't look like it. And then see, there we go. All covered. All right, I'm going to set that on there. And then we got the one I'm going to do with the flamingos. Okay. And I've got two great big napkins for this one. I just want to make sure all the flamingos are right side up. So let's see, let's tear this in half this way because this napkin, let's see, one way they go one way and the other way they go the other way. Half upside down, half right side up. And I'm going to go ahead and tear both napkins into pieces because I think I'm going to need all of them. Because this is the trifold one. Now, if you want to get um, even more uh, variety, you can tear it in half the opposite direction. But that's entirely up to you. I'm just tearing it so they're all the right side up and I'm going to leave them in a pile and then I can just grab from them. There we go. So now I've got a, a pile of flamingos here. 
and again I'm going to wrap it around to the inside I think what I might do is just Mod Podge in, in an entire side here and then quickly get some laid down on it Alright, now I'm going to tear these in half this way because I don't need all of that height. Oh, sunburn update. It has reached the doesn't hurt anymore. Starting to get itchy. So, yeah. I'm wishing Scott had been able to um, put some of that lotion on my back before he went to work. <laughs> but... We were running a little late this morning. Neither one of us wanted to get up very, mo very much. Oh, to be wealthy enough to just stay at home and do what we want to do. All right, so there's that side. I'm going to start doing this side. I don't think I got it completely covered where this stuff needs to go, did I? Maybe that'll do. I know. I'm taking too long, aren't I? Put that one there. Stick it down. not want to stick because there wasn't anything there. Now it'll stick. <gasps> Oops! Getting too aggressive. Gotta s calm down a little bit. down just a little bit because I'm starting to get to the other end. I'm probably going to have to quickly clean the table off because I bet I'm going to, um, I bet I'm going to end up getting glue on the table. Now if you wanted, you can sprinkle glitter into the Mod Podge while it's still wet and then put another coat of Mod Podge over it. If you don't have any, if you want to add glitter and you don't have any of the, um, you know, like Mod Podge or uh, Martha Stewart stuff with the glitter in it, so you can add bling even if all you have is even the water glue like Amy makes, which I might have to revert to that here shortly and mix up some.
And that Amy I'm talking about is L. John. And if you're, um, you know who she is, then you know that she has requested uh, birthday cards for her dad, who is our papa. And I need to get one off to him, and everybody else ought to send him one too. Amy, I think you said he's going to be 90. Is that right? I hope I got that right. My mother-in-law is going to be 90 in October. And you know what? She still cooks for us. Almost every weekend we go down to the house. She has us over to eat. I can't believe it. I mean, <laughs> I just, I hope I'm that active when I'm 90. Ooh, it's warm in here. And this lamp is hot. I bet the front, the first half I did is almost dry. And this one's going to be a long video. It's going to take forever to upload. Trying to use up my old products before I buy any new. So I have fewer things on hand. I know that sounds weird, but one way or another, I'm going to have to move this stuff around one more time. Maybe twice. I don't know. We'll see. guys all I'm gonna do is flip this over and bring the other pieces to the back side I think I missed a spot right there let's let's just put this fellow right there to cover that up I think I still miss some. Maybe not. We're going to go with it. All right. Now. All right. This has got a little bit of excess, but. And on the corners, I kind of just pinch it in a little bit as I'm going. Oh, gentle, Becky, gentle. Getting too aggressive, and it's just not wanting to do. 